Welcome back to another Hip Hop Breakdown. Okay, first of all, I want to thank Margarita for helping out. She's been a long time TA for me, so thank you very much, Margarita. Okay, so getting into this, um, the nomenclature of this, you know, uh, when I first learned this move, obviously it was called the Running Man. Uh, I've seen uh, a lot of newer dancers, uh, they call it the Shuffle. Uh, some people call it the Melbourne Shuffle. Whatever you call it, this is the move, all right? So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to teach you how to do it is almost like a jumping jack all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this first real quick here we go one and two and just like that right there so instead of jumping jack sideways you're jumping front and back okay look right there jump right so both legs land at the same time one and on the end you see both feet come back together in the middle one and two that's my two, so now it's my left leg. First was my right leg, now it's my left leg front. One and two and. So when you do this half time, making sure when you do this, you land together, all right? The problem with uh, people trying to do the running man or the shuffle right away, they, stu they, they, they start doing something different. The reason why I wanna start here slow is you develop the habit of landing both feet on the ground at the same time, all right? So let's watch this. Tempo, here we go. One and two and. Okay, so for this one, I did it up to four. One and two and three and four and. Um, what I suggest is if you've never done this move before or if you've done it wrong, build a habit by doing just this. One and two and three and four and. I'm gonna play this one more time, watch this. All right, so that's the key, that's the key uh, the fundamental in getting this down. Now you see Margaret and I, now we're, we're turning sideways. The next step is lifting our leg up. So let's watch this halftime. Check it out. Alright, so this transition is essential. You gotta get this right. So check it out. I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna pause. Watch this. One, see that one is the same as the previous exercise. On the and Watch the and, one and. See that? Both legs come together, however, one leg, the back leg, see the back leg. So I start with the right leg in the front, one and. On the and, the back leg comes up, okay? So you wanna land, now watch, the knee is in the front. You see that knee is in front, all right? So you don't want the knee on the, you don't want the knee pointing down with the leg is back. Knee up in the front, one and two, Right, two, I jump out on two, just like I did the previous exercise. One and two and, all right? I repeat, three and four and. So that's the exercise I want you guys to do. Check it out, one, one more time, tempo. Three and four and, all right? So let's take a look at that uh, tempo, here we go. And two and three and four and all right so for beginners if you've never done this move before you might want to rewind that a few more times and just do it with us one and two and three and four if you have it already we're gonna move on to the next section which is when we double we double things up let's check this out all right so when I double what I mean by that is I'm repeating right right watch this Right leg comes forward, one, and, okay? Two, right leg again, all right? So that's the right to right, that's what I mean by double. Double right, and then I'm gonna double left, watch this. This is the left and left, okay? So that's one, two, three, four. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch this tempo, here we go. Two and three and four and. And by the way, I just wanna mention, Margarita's doing it excellent excellent job in here so she's not messing up which uh, makes it a little bit more difficult for me to point out some of the common mistakes okay so uh, she's not making common mistakes so I can't really point them out but if she does 
I'll point them out. Anyways, once you have the double, what we're trying to do is the single, single, double. Drum is called a paradiddle, okay? So let's take a look. All right, so for most people, when you get to this part, it's a little bit challenging, a little bit confusing as to when to do the right leg, when to the left leg. But anyways, if you watch this one more time, I'm gonna go right leg, left leg, and then right leg double, and then left, right, and then left, left. Okay, one more time, let's check this out. Okay, so you guys, you guys are watching the feet, right? One more time, watch the feet, here we go. One and two and three and four. All right, so it's very, very important that you guys get this because everything from now, I am adding on another layer to it, all right? So once you have this, then proceed for the next part. If you don't have this yet, watching the next part will just be for entertainment. It won't really be for instructional because your foundation isn't strong yet. Build the foundation first before you move forward. So for those that are ready, let's check out the next part. So the next part, I'm actually jumping side to side. Let's just watch this for a second. All right, you guys see that? So on the one, check it out, on the one. One, right there, my entire body shifts to the side. Same, same thing with Margarita, doing a great job. So I'm. this is more of a traveling move. I think it, it looks really, really cool. If you guys do a search on Bobby Brown's uh, every little step I take, she, he does the running man real well, and he adds this. You can see him going side to side. And I see that a lot of the new uh, the new dancers today calling it shuffle. It's basically the running man, you know, adding a little uh, movement to the side. Of course, the music is a little bit different, but to me, the movement is the same. So anyways, here we go. Let's check this out. Um, tempo. Okay. One and two and three and four and all right, so that's just the single portion again practice that if you're ready now We're gonna do the double and on the double you can watch this so watch watch how we travel on the double And two and three and four and all right, I'm gonna definitely rewind that watch watch that front leg. There we go one, so here's my right leg. Notice when I step down, it's at an angle. Okay, I have a little bit of turn out right there. One, and, watch the end. You see how I jumped in and I turned in this time? One, and, two, watch the two. Another jump, two, and. See those, so every one and two and we're jumping. All right, one and two and, watch this. Three, now I'm going back to my right side. One, two, and three, and four, and. And you see Margarita doing the exact same thing, so she's doing an excellent, excellent job. Let's take a look at what it looks like tempo to speed. Here we go. And, all right, so we only did up to four, but what I would suggest is you, you know, play a nice piece of music and uh, go to eight, or two eight counts, or four eight counts, okay? You want to drill that in as much as you can. Now, once you have that, we're doing paradiddle. Right, left, right, right. With the jump side to side. Here we go. Let's check this out. And two, and three, and four, and three. All right. So this just adds another dimension to the regular running man. Not just a single, single double, but also our side to side rotations. All right. All right. Here we go. We're, we're going to add one more variation. Actually, we're going to do two more. But the next variation... Next variation looks like this. Here we go. All right, so it's real simple. One and two and three and four. Watch this one. One is still the same. My one, check this out. But the only difference is this. Watch this one. Look at, look at my leg. See how I'm landing? Whereas before, the first time, the first one I did, both the heel or both the foot are very parallel, straight up and down. I have a turnout right here. The reason why I want to do that is because now I can pivot the toes, the heels out and in. And when I do that, I do a little clap, all right? So that's one and two. One more time. Watch it one more time. One and two, three and four. All right, I'm going to re rewind that one more time. It's kind of quick. One and on the end. So I'm pivoting, right? So the ball's here stays on the ground. I'm pivoting on the ball of the feet. 
heel goes out one and two on the two i come back in with the clap and okay the and is still the same as the other ones one and two see how it's turned out turn out very good and four okay one and two three and four let's take a look at what it looks like tempo here we go and two and four all right that was very quick one more time i'm gonna play that one and two three and four all right so again we're clapping on the twos and fours all right so now we're putting in with our running man the single single and then the little clap the little turn out okay this move to me looks a very 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 similar to another hip-hop move called the tone walk i don't know which was is, is if that came first or or this but okay let's scratch that we're not going to mention that okay so let's check this out it's going to be the single single and then this little twist out check it out Alright, so let's let's slow it down. Here we go. So we have our regular one and two and right there. So that's our single single, right? Right leg, left leg. And now on the three, watch the three. See how I prepare myself with my heels, heels are turned or toes are turned out. Three and four. Alright. And then I'm gonna do my regular running man right here. Five and six and seven and eight so there's there's my one eight count let's watch that one more time two and four five and six cents and eight all right very good okay so the last one i want to last variation i want to show you um some people call this the side step again this to me is just repeating my doubles i, I repeated four times all right so quadruple and i used my turnout and jumping to to travel all right so some of the shufflers call this sidestepping or sidewalking, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, to me, it's still a running man going to the side. Check it out. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Now, of course, when I do it slow, I'm not really going to jump. You could jump or you, you don't have to jump. It's all right. So let's do this tempo. Here we go. Okay, so on the, on the four and eight, I stomp together, step together, and then five and six and seven and and eight, step together, all right? So there you go, There's, there are our uh, variations of the running man. And let's watch this all together one more time. Here we go. Okay, single, single, double. Now we're going to the side, side, side side back again here we go and then twist out single single twist out and we're just traveling to the side traveling to the side and that's it again all of the stuff to me is the running man different variations of it you could do it to a faster song you could do it to a slower song all right it's one of the funnest dance uh, for me and hopefully you guys can learn this and apply it to your dance okay so uh, if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up and uh, share this. You know, share with anybody that can benefit from it. And I definitely appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.